All right, this guy was just dropped off like, just about 10 minutes ago. Uh, was actually hit. I think it probably just clipped his lower, his, uh, his head somewhere. Anyway, um, we're going to keep him overnight, sedate him in the morning, and give him a workup, probably some x-rays and some cool stuff. But anyway, that's what a rental state looks like to be a patient for the morning. Cool beans. Okay, during uh, one of our last wildlife videos, we were actually doing um, helping out a uh, rattlesnake. It, uh, <laughs> it occurred to me that I did not uh, thank those that actually made this kind of uh, this kind of medicine possible. And with the help of the uh, ARAV, the Association of Reptiles and Amphibian Veterinarians, um, they uh, actually had classes. And I had been a member of the organization for years, for the last five or six years or so. I've been members on and off, depending on how my office manager wants to buy my, uh, um, <laughs> wants to spend money on me being a member. Anyway, uh, we argue about that constantly. But in the last video, people asked how we did it and what kind of equipment we was, we use. Um, all of this stuff here basically is part of Midwest Tongues. Um, a great company that's really interested in uh, in animal husbandry, especially reptiles. Anyway, this is the kit that I've got. Uh, this is basically a series of about 13 different size tubes. Today we're going to choose this size to work with the snake. Here's part of our tongs. Um, I like this brand here or this type because it's got the, the soft parts and the tips. Um, and it also doesn't completely capture them and hold them. It's just basically something to, to guide them. Then we have here our gentle giants. Um, the short version, because uh, sometimes the long stuff just gets a little bit of a pain in the butt. It turns out that my little bag here, you can actually put the snake in there. Snake will go in, be coarse into the tube once it's in the tube i can actually grab it about right here and control it pull the, the thing off and then we can actually pump the, the gas in from this side over here and we can anesthetize the snake this particular snake was actually hit by a car rumor has it a lot of blood was coming from the mouth they think it was hitting the head so we're going to sedate it get some x-rays um it doesn't look too injured um as close as i've gotten so far um no i've not gotten him out yet <laughs> I have a few employees that are a little bit scared of uh, some of the wildlife that I work with, especially the poisonous snakes. Anyway, what makes this little bag setup really cool is 
these things come off here and this can be a snake hook or it can be a snake trap so when you actually are trying to hold them down on the ground you can actually use it like that and it doesn't hurt them too much and you can actually pin them down anyway so uh, that's a cool little setup uh, I'm really really I love working with these things so I more or less volunteer to do as much poisonous snake work as I can I do have a few cobras as patients and some other poisonous snakes and other poisonous um, animals but this has been a when I get a chance to work with rattlesnakes or the covers and stuff, this is the equipment that I use. This is the basics. Other than that, um, we use gas anesthetics, uh, digital x-ray. So that's uh, three minutes of my little uh, reptile kit workup. So it's uh, basically Midwest Tongs. Uh, they're a great company. Um, I've gotten most of my stuff through them. And every year when I go to the ARAV meetings and so forth, I love to visit their booth. All right, that's it. Such a thing. No. You're on. We live by silly. I'm really get more relaxed. About time. This is Rodney the Rattler. <laughs> Alright, so everyone watching. This guy was hit by a car, was brought in by one of the wildlife officers yesterday. They saw it probably clip his head. He doesn't think he got it mauled fully, but he was able to... Uh, have a wildlife bucket on board and you can actually see the, the, the raw flesh and stuff sitting right there so we're going to take some x-rays and see if his jaw is broken or if that's just a piece of pinched flesh and we will uh, take that next step in a minute the good news is our buddy is, is numb if you want to lay you can tell with snakes is they will the rotting reflex So we'll be doing oral surgery on a rattlesnake. Only thing more fun is oral surgery on a shark. And we've done that. <clears throat> Not case. Because we are crazy. Like you're nutters. Ah! Phones in every direction. He does look hungry. Who? That snake. He looks like he ate something. Yeah, Alright, x ray's already set up. Don't look at me, look at the snake. I thought you were going to intro it. Oh, I am. Okay. I'm here, there's snake. <laughs> All right. This is what's happened. When this guy was hit, somehow it actually caused this to rupture. So this is the inside of his mouth right there. And this is the outside part of the, the, the skin and muscle. And all this is going to get tucked back into there. And all that back into there as well. And we'll, so we'll have, this basically it's kind of a tricky surgery. The good news is his poison gland is inside this mass of muscle, so it's not been ruptured, that I can tell. It's so we're going to put that back together, and then put this in, and, and he'll look almost normal again. Now, how is it going to work for him to open and close mouth for food? Well, it's going to be a while bitty. before he eats. Gotcha. Okay, we'll have to see what happens. But anyway, that's what's going to happen here, and that's how we're going to try and fix this guy, and hopefully there will be enough that this guy will be fine with. All right. We'll be back. I wonder how many little creatures
creatures you dissected when you were growing up? You ever heard the story? My parents gave me a dissecting kit. Yeah. And all kinds of stuff to go in it. And it, it was just all such beautiful specimens. I couldn't do it. So I was outside, you know, taking apart the local slugs. And <laughs> I still to this day claim I know more about slug anatomy than any veterinarian in the world. Oh, I'm sure. Now, is this absorbable suture? Yes, it is. Sweet. I'm about to make a knot. Not one I wanted. So you'll be able to compile all these? Videotaping? Uh-huh. All right. You can actually see where all the bruising is on the side of the mouth. So it looks like the car actually went right across this area right here and then just caused this to prolapse out. And according to the x-rays, there's not too much fracture in there. This tooth here is just going to fall out on its own. It's stuck in inside the, the tissue there. Oh, maybe I can grab it. Hold on. That one's going to grow back. Too fair, you're going to see him tonight. <laughs> Put a dollar under his pillow. No, it'll be diamonds. He's a diamond back. So all that's back in place. Got some swelling here to go down. Hey, I'm get some glue and we put this on top of his head. I feel like a rhinoceros viper. <laughs> no sense of humor. I'm just, I'm having a nervous meltdown. With you working on a venomous snake right there, and you just putting a, a rhinoceros head on him. Do you know how fast I can yank this thing? Oh yeah. That? <laughs> that looks like it'll hold. We're a darn good team. Y'all are a good team. I'm so proud With of y'all. The wild cats. Oh lord. Y'all are gonna get the. I'm gonna effect. put one more suture in there. Power. video that cool cotton mouth we got in the other night we were gonna get to you she was hit uh, I heard about it but no I didn't yeah, see the video ended up dying by the next morning we were gonna get it over to you for x-rays and um, it didn't make it through the night it was late and um, beautiful big female where is the screen I wish they just make this stuff with color in it fuchsia Oh, Swamp News is going to love this. You've got to subscribe to Swamp News. It's fantastic. Alright. And this actually might make um, another channel. Who knows? No, it's just doing it for the right reasons. Alright, cool. Oh my gosh, no, you didn't. <laughs> All right. Ding, Tom's up. Thing like that, you know? <laughs> That's funny. That was right on time. All right.
All right, surgery's over. I've already given him uh, an antibiotic shot. They should last about three weeks. I've uh, given him uh, two types of antibiotics. One lasts about four, 24, to four, 24 to 48 hours, and the other one's going to last about two or more weeks. And also some pain meds in there as well. It won't last as long. But anyway, we'll uh, see how well this guy does in the next week or so. I would not try to feed this guy for about a month. Okay. Okay. That's it for now. Let's wake it up. I'm going to put him in his bucket. Not in the bucket. And please don't kick it. No kicking the bucket. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Do you want to carry him to the tonight, Doug, or what? I can. Need some gas, though. Okay. And to know just how secure these guys can get. Okay. No, not the bucket! <laughs> not the lid! Oh, yeah, we got to have one of those. That's cutting. I like that. We don't need no tape. That's awesome.